All right. Grand Cats, Book 2, A New Dawn, Chapters 11 through 12. Quickly, Whisper saw Cinderberry glaring across the clearing at Nettlewyn. Cinderberry glaring won't change anything. Cinderberry grunted in reply. Look, I don't like it any more than you do, but still. That's just it. No one likes it, but they won't say anything. Well, I'm gonna say something. I don't care what Cloud Boss thinks of that piece of fox thing. That's not what he's like at all. Whisker gave fun reasoning with Cinderberry. He did have a point, after all. Bunny Patrol Troll returned with Bracken Mask in the lead. Lead? I can't talk today. Quickly, Whisker looked at the she cat. Who was her mate? He wondered. She was certainly expecting kits. He went and grabbed her fall from the magical pile and ate it. Like, you had no medicine cat training whatsoever. You trained as a warrior apprentice in Shadow Clan, sir. Where did you learn this? Because don't be telling me Star Clan just randomly taught you. Because I'll believe you. I would 100% believe if Dark Stars was like, Hey, random cat, you need to make a clan. Because I said so. Now here, I'll teach you herbs. <laughs> he would do that. <laughs> he would do it. Dark Star would do it. <laughs> and Crooked Whisker, Clapper's called him. What? It's Cinderberry. He doesn't want me and Nettleman to be mates. Crooked Whisker bit back the urge to back Cinderberry up. <laughs> Dude. Chill. Was. Don't. Did you ask him why? Was all you can muster. Yes! He said Nettleman was a jerk, but he's nothing like that. Gladfrost was clearly convinced Nettleman was a good cat, and he wasn't gonna try to change her mind. You're being a bad friend. Okay, what the heck? Um. See you later, he said. He went to gather herbs. He sent a speckled cloud and fox this night near the near River Clan's border and found some tansy leaves and marigold. <laughs> he just doesn't even care. He's like, my siblings are causing trouble. Oh well. <laughs> hey! He could hear the argument before he was even fully back at camp. We still haven't decided! The whisker sighed. They were arguing who, over who should be leader. Again. Yikes. <laughs> you don't get to decide it. That'll win. That's Star Clan's job. Speckled Cloud spat. So? I bet you're only saying that so you can be leader. Why would you say that to a former leader? Sh surely he would know how it works more than, like, anyone here. Surely he's more qualified than literally anyone here. <laughs> oh my god. My freaking thing is acting up. I do not know why. Oh. Enough! God, I was killed. She should be leader. <laughs> Crooked was your thought. No flirting on the battlefield. <laughs> How many times do I have to say this? No. <laughs> no means no. <laughs> we still haven't decided yet. Well, first, I should be leader. You're my mate. You need to side with me. And six. Red flag number like. Number like 14 billion. Oh my god. I'm having so many problems with this. I am sorry if you put it. Leave her alone! Speckle Clap said angrily. Yeah. Good friend. <laughs> Cloud Frost looked down at her paws. Quirky Whisker suddenly growled and shouted at the cats. Enough of this! We will decide eventually, but not now! The cats quieted down and started murmuring to one another. Quirky Whisker went to his den and so urged Cloud Frost walked in. Thank you, she said. Crooked Whisker just looked at her. They sat in silence before she left the den. Yay, they did the friend thing where you just sit beside each other. And, like, no one gives a... Chapter 12. Clapper sat next to Nettle, and his words rang in her ears. You're my mate. You have to support me. Was that true? Did she have to support him? No! That's like red flag. Red flag number million. 
Cloud Frost, Dr. Mask called her. What? I'm expecting kids, she told her excitedly. Really? When? A moon. Isn't that what Brown Willow said? <laughs> Y'all are in cahoots. <laughs> I mean, I know it's like different, but like, honestly. She told her Cloud Frost was so excited for her friend. Hey, Echo Shine, she called. Wanna go hunting? Sure. Echo Shine replied. They left cat. Cloud Frost. Echo Shine began. You, no, you shouldn't really, uh, well, she trailed off. What? Well, um, you know. She clearly was trying to find the right words. Spit it out! Did you know that you were expecting kids? Sputtered. What? Cloud Frost stopped. Well, I'd assumed you know, but Cloud Frost had no idea. How did you know? She asked. Apple Falls, my brother. He's a medicine cat. Do you think I don't know these things? She doesn't. Her sister's medicine cat. That argument doesn't work, Echo Shine. I guess so. She trailed off. Well, anyway, did you know that Rocky Mouse is expecting kids? I want to know who the father is. Cloud Frost really didn't think that. Really didn't think about that. But it was a good question. Maybe it's some kitty pet. Cloud Frost said, well, I only know a few kitty pets, and, like, two of them are mentioned ever again. Bumblebee, Vivi, Bill, Cheesecake, Sunshine, and Poppy Don. Poppy Don is a warrior name. Is there just a random warrior that just ran away? <laughs> That's the only explanation I can think of. There's just a random cat named Poppy Don. That is 100% a warrior name. Who, who is this cat? Who is this cat? Cloud Frost was amazed she, she knew no kitty pets, let alone six. I mean, yeah. What are you doing in your free time? <laughs> well, are you friends with any of them? Clever asked. I mostly hang out with Cheesecake and Bumblebee. She said, I haven't seen Bumblebee in a while because she's expecting her second lurk. What? She had four th- My god. Oh my- f mm. Oh my- Oh my f god. Okay. Anyway, she had four litters. How is she only expecting her second one right now? I'm so confused. Sean was clearly in all the kitty pets business. It was kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, sure. I could ask around. I could offer. Okay, can I come with you? Why for that? Sure. Why though? <laughs> Why do you need to know? The two of them went into two leg place. Cheesecake! Echo Shine called. A small cream colored she cat hopped over the fence. Oh, hi, Echo Shine! Cheesecake greeted her. I need to ask you something. Echo Shine started. Sure, what's up? Cheesecake asked. Have you seen a ginger she cat around here? Nope. I used to see a dark gray tom, but never anymore. Not anymore. Not for a while now. I thought she was probably talking about <laughs> No! <laughs> it's rude. How dare you just oust him like that just because he got hit by a car. That's so rude. Violet Dawn got hit by a car, and she's fine. Even though she hasn't been born yet. No way she has been born yet. Um, I keep forgetting that Violet Dawn is, like, not, like, with the younger, like, the rest of the protagonist. She's, she, <laughs> she's older. <laughs> she's the same age as Blossom Eyes. Well, thanks anyway, Echo Shine told her. The two of them left the jewelry place. You asked one cat. There's, like, still, like, 20 others. Never wind, she called when he got back to camp. What? I'm expecting kids, she told him. That's great, he replied excitedly. <laughs> she heard Cinderberry mutter something. Nettlewind turned to look at him. What was that? Nettlewind snapped. Cinderberry gave, Cinder, Cinderberry gave him a cold glare. I said, you don't deserve kids or a mate. Cinderberry stopped off. Ignore him, Loud Frost told him. Well, he'll have to respect me when I'm leader. Oh my god. <gasps> Stop! This is your trillion red flag. Stop it. Bad Cinderberry. Bad. How can you be so sure she'll be you'll be leader? She asked. Shut up! What did I say? Red flag number I've lost count. Firefox was shocked. Why had Nettlewind been so mean to her? She just went to her den. Hey, wake up! What? Breaking Mask had her kits. Just randomly. <laughs> okay. Really? They went over to Brocky Mask. Who woke you up? Who? Who was it? Who was it? They're beautiful, Cloud Frost told her. Their names are Flower Kit and Frog Kit. 
there was a blue gray tabby tom and the and the she cat was white and ginger no she was not i don't actually know what the heck color she is flower light is an odd color i'll say that also i just spoiled her warrior name no i'm not sorry they're so cute cloudfrost told her can you get cinderberry recognize that sure how does no one put two and two together they are clearly Cinderberry's kits. Cinderberry! Blackmask called. Blackmask wants to see you. Cinderberry rushed over to the den. And that is it for today.